In my last haul, I mentioned that I use eight and a half by 11 page protectors, the one that you can find at any office supply store or at the Dollar Tree in my case. And I told y'all that what I do is I cut off this white part and then I use them for my stickers and I was gonna show you how I do that. So here I have this plastic bin, I've had it for a while. I wanna say I got it at Target, it's lasted me quite a few years and I've moved with it and it's in good shape. That's the brand if you're wondering. Focusing on that, there we go. All right, so in here I have theme stickers. And what that is, is any loose stickers or any leftover from kits or from collections that I still have left over or some cute ones that I just find in big box stores. What I do is I organize them by theme. Here I have wedding, right? So what I did is I have one of those case protectors. And like I said, I cut off the top so that it gave me an opening, right? And then I use my fuse tool and when you buy them, they are top loading. And so I just use that and I cut off the white part. Again, I said that, just repeating. And then I stick in all the stickers. So it's kind of like a plastic pocket. And this is just copier paper, but a little thicker. So maybe like brochure paper, you could find a big old pack at any office supply store or at Walmart. And then I just put there the category. And so yes, and so that is how I organize my theme stickers. So here I have wedding. Here is summer. So all my summer stickers in there. Oh well, that's ephemera. Actually, that shouldn't be in there. <laughs> um, Jolie. And then I have labels. So any stickers that are labels, I have in here. Sometimes I do put a piece of cardboard from, you know, like Amazon, you get all those cardboard boxes. I cut off the flaps and I cut it to fit to size to be in here so it could be a little sturdier. So they could stand up better. Here I have tiny words in here. Here is just this miscellaneous, yeah, I have a little, little stapled, so it's miscellaneous, so like just random stuff birthday um this is baby so this has maternity in here and then anything that has to do with like mom life and then of course um like newborn baby baby layouts here life so this is anything um that has like enjoy life um man, like yeah like fun times not necessarily like a theme theme, so just describing how good life is, I guess. And then holidays. I have family stickers and a lot of Mambi chips. I do like Mambi chips. It's like a big old chipboard, but cut to size and, you know, you just take it off and put it in there. You don't have to deal with a big old 12 by 12 chipboard. Some of these are very, very old. This is very old. This is anything to do with friends and friendship, best buds, girlfriends, things like that. Um, food, I don't have a lot of, this is old Hobby Lobby right here. I can't get rid of it because it's so cute. <laughs> and then some Michaels. And I don't even know when I got this one. Um, this cafe one. Started doing youth again in Texas. We had like a little cafe. All the youth worked on it and we got coffee tables and all sorts of things and I must have bought it then. So that's pretty old. <laughs> that must have been like in 2006. Yeah, I have grade school and this was more so for my childhood album that I have left over. I thought maybe I'll keep it for my kids. High school, travel, um, for the life of me, I could not find anything about Mexico that didn't have to do with alcohol. <laughs> it didn't have anything to do with uh, drinking. All the Mexico stickers were all about just mixed, you know, drinks. <laughs> and I was like, no, there's so much more. And it just has this one, but there is um, much more. And so this is the closest that I could find that wasn't just a bunch of alcohol. And, um... Yeah, what is this one? Paper house. Oh, New York City to 
off when I went to New York. And then Faith, which I don't, I think I just have one, which was actually a joke as a talking stuffer that I got my husband because it says like turn into Jesus, songs of praise, joyful notice, how sweet this half. And it's it's it was just like an inside joke. And so this is the only thing I have that is um has to do with really like faith. Now they have all that illustrated faith stuff, which is super cool, but um I don't Bible journal so I don't really get into that stuff. Anyway, so that is how I use in the half by eleven page protectors from the Dollar Tree to organize and store my loose stickers in this plastic bin. Anyways, I hope that gave you some ideas, inexpensive organization tips or anything like that, and I'll see you on my next one. Very quickly, another way how I use those eight and a half by 11 page protectors that you can get at the Dollar Tree is I use them to make little pockets to put in my alphas when the packaging starts to just tear and you can no longer use the packaging. I do keep the packaging if I can for my tiny alphas because if I don't, then they will start to come off and then I start to lose letters and that makes me very sad. And the fuse tool works just fine. I never had any issues with using it on the thin page protectors. If you want something thicker, then you can go to an office supply store and get the eight and a half page protectors there. So here I have some for these tiny alphas there. Uh, let's see where else. Made a little pocket for these. See how that's coming off and so that will make sure it stays in there. These, especially once they start getting old and the stickiness just doesn't sticky anymore. So here are some here. These are for Michaels. And um, so then they start to just fall off from the backing, the back sheet. And that's not good. You might lose an S or a T and those are usually the letters that we need. Here is some right here. Let's see? So yeah, that's another way you can use Dollar Tree for organization in your craft supplies. Here's another one. And um, yeah, these Heidi Swap ones um, just came like loose or something like that. And I needed to separate. So there was words and labels and I put the labels with the labels, the tiny words with the tiny words. And so um, these were left out and so I had to separate them and I just made a pocket and put them in there. Yeah. Using my fuse tool, if you don't have a fuse tool, you can use a sewing machine.